An art exhibit at the World Bank here in Washington features the work of more than 150 artists from Africa. It's called Africa Now, and VOA's Carolyn Turner met with some of these artists. The World Bank art program is designed to give emerging artists from developing countries a showcase where they can gain access to the international art market. Karina Ahmad comes from Mozambique. This painting over here, I made it to represent loneliness in old people. This one over here, I, I made it uh, with three masks that represent three warriors. But these three warriors, for me, represent everyday people in the, this society. Victor Ekpuk is a U.S. citizen from Nigeria. He says he was encouraged as a child to become an artist. Um, the graphic part of it uh, are signs that um, represents ideas. And this was some of the, form, the earliest forms of writing in my part of the country, Nigeria. They're not necessarily ascribed to Islamic writing system or the Roman writing system. They're just unique on their own. This work is called Secrecy of Shelters. Petros Gabrihiwo from Eritrea creates such sculptures out of fired clay. He says his inspiration comes partly from ancient runes. So it, it has especially these two or three messages for me uh, coming together, working beyond heart, beyond damage, uh, and re regrouping, coming together, and uh, uh, reviving, creating life again. And, uh, um, it's hope. It has positive message for me because uh, you cannot wish for hope um, unless you are in this situation. I mean, you have to have darkness to wish for light. Gabrihiwo says war and the need to rebuild after the fighting ends also influences his work. If you see, there is no space in between these forms that shows like coming together break personal boundaries and create a bigger boundary that includes many people and working together. Still, other forms are inspired by viral structures like those seen under a microscope. Gabrihiwo explains. The idea of why I include viruses in here is um, viruses do not survive by themselves. They have to, to have a, a host cell. They need a cell to live in, otherwise they, are, they don't live. So it shows that how shelters are important for us. The World Bank's art program began in 1997. It includes the work of artists where the bank is engaged. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.